job. It's good. What's, What's the title, title to that? I sing, I sing the mighty, that's right. I was like, the presence known everywhere that man can be. What's the, no, some of the words, but I don't know. Okay. I sing the mighty power of God. Uh, Psalm, Psalm chapter 34, Psalm, no, 37, Psalm 37. Psalm 37. I'll read one scripture from there, and then uh, I have one from Luke chapter 18 that I'll also read. Psalm 37. Uh, I listened to Slip Slide Fall this week, and I thought, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach a, a sequel to that called After the Fall. After the Fall. And um, I, I wanted to have it prepared this morning. But, but sometimes, sometimes you just got to let things cook. cook. You just got to let them stir, let them simmer. simmer. You can't you rush a crock pot. It does its thing. thing. Uh, uh, I like crock pot, pot meals a lot of times. Miss Carter, Carter turned, turned Jamie on to, what's, what's it, Mississippi pot, pot roast. Phenomenal. Uh, uh, Miss uh, uh, Renee, she, she makes her buffalo dip in a crock pot, pot right? right? Phenomenal. Uh, so, so that's, that's what, what I want after... Church, church today, today so, so get on it, and, and that's, that's why, why I want to meet with you after church. church. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll wait, wait. Uh, uh, but um, no, no I, I, I wanted to preach on after, after the fall because the Bible says that a just man falleth seven times and rises again. again. Uh, I did preach before some years ago. A just man is just a man, um, but today I want to I want to bring you something that's um, that I have. Uh, oh, ex experience that, that I've went through, through that's something that I've been dealing with uh, for a while. Um, and it's, um, you, don't you don't have to tell God the directions. You don't have to tell God the directions. I, uh, anywhere we go, I drive. Like that's, I'm driving. If I, I have a hard time being a passenger. Uh, even uh, I, my, uh, my uh, I don't like calling him my boss because nobody bosses me around besides the Lord, the Lord. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, but my uh, my, my boss, boss truck driver, driver my employer, employer uh, went uh, with me. We went to um, uh, Wilder, Wilder, Kentucky. Kentucky, Wilder, Kentucky, and we, we had, had to get, get these buildings, these giant cooler buildings, out of a warehouse. They were 16 feet wide, two of them, 16 feet wide by 63 feet long, and we had to get them out of this building and load them up on a trailer and take them to Seaman, Ohio. Well. well uh, uh, he, went he went with me, and the, and the whole time, time was, okay, do, do I, I want, want him to ride, ride with me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. I drive. I'm comfortable driving, but I don't like, I don't no, I don't, I don't need a passenger because I don't need somebody telling me how to do it. Uh, uh, but, but there, there comes to a, a time in, in, a, in a place in life where there is one who drives and he doesn't need you to tell him how to do it, and that is the Lord. When, when the Lord, Lord is in control of our life, we, we allow him. We should abdicate, abdicate the throne and let him have it. It's his anyway. And let him direct our life. We just And he shall direct thy paths, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Um, uh, same thing with Romans 8, 28. Uh, it's when we have saying, it's when we said, uh, it's when we understand, okay, I'm, I'm obeying the Bible the best I know how, and I'm going to continue to do it. So therefore, I can put my faith in its promises. It's really hard to live in disobedience of the Bible and put your faith in its promises. Uh, it's when you know it, you're trying to obey it, you're trying to live by it, that those promises bring peace and they bring joy, they bring comfort. So there are promises that go to this thing, this, this very important subject of prayer. The subject of prayer that... I, which, which is, um, um, I, can't I can't speak, speak for all Christians, Christians but, but many Christians, Christians is that, that we don't take it serious enough, enough that we don't really understand its power, that we that really, really don't understand the incentives that prayer brings, that the, the, the promises, promises of prayer. 
Now, now Psalm 37, 4. 4. Psalm 37, verse 4. Very simply, it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Heavenly Father, help us to do exactly that. The scripture says, Delight thyself in the Lord. Lord, there are many things that pull our attention. And we, and we can't, can't delight, delight ourselves in the Lord if we're delighting in the world, the flesh, and the devil. Even though the message today isn't on, isn't on those things, I believe I'll very, maybe even very little reference those at all. But really just talk about prayer. Preach on prayer. Lord, what is available to us? I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Luke 18, 1, And he, being Jesus, spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Now you say, what does that mean? Always pray? How could I possibly always pray? It doesn't mean stay in prayer and uh, don't, ever, don't ever stop praying in the sense of, you know, uh, to at an altar or at a special place of prayer in your home or whatever. It just means that, hey man, you're driving to work, you can pray. Uh, I woke up uh, Friday morning, had to go to... Uh, Flint had to go to Flint, Michigan. I prayed before I even got out of bed. I said, dear Lord, thank you for another day. Thank you for another day. And when I got home Friday night, I got in bed and I said, Lord, and I said, Lord, thank you for the day. And I said, this could be my last day on earth. You know, some people woke up yesterday. It was their last day. Some people were waking up today. It's their last day. Oh, we don't want to talk about that. Let's just the fact of the matter. One of these days, my number is going to be called, and it will be my last day. I may be able to see it coming from afar, or I may not see it coming at all. But one day will be my last day. Uh, and and uh, uh, some people, um, they don't, it, it was their last day. And I, so I said, Lord, I, that's a fact. So I said, Lord, don't let this be my last day. I, I got things I'm trying to do, and, 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 uh, and not that the Lord's not in my way. I'm trying to be in his way. So, so that, that I'm like, Lord, I'm trying to make myself valuable to you. To you. Um, not, not so you don't kill me, because Paul said, absent from the body, present with the Lord, it's better to be in heaven than it is to be here. Um, uh, so, so, so don't feel bad for, I don't feel bad for people who go to heaven. It may be tragic how they go, but hey man, they're better off than we are. They're better off than we are. And, and so I, I praised the Lord and I said, thank you, Lord, for, for another day. And I got home and I answered the prayer. You want to uh, start seeing answers to prayer? Start, start with real simple things too. If you're, if you're desperate, desperate seeing answer to prayer, prayer start off with that. Dear Lord, Dear Lord let, me let me get home tonight. And then when, and then you, when get you get home tonight, turn around and thank the Lord for getting you home. Very, very, very simple, simple things, things to, to, start to start off with. with. But, but I, 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 in my prayers as a pastor, I said, Dear Lord, I know you're working behind the scenes. I know you're working behind the scenes. I know that you're doing things and, and you're making a way for Three Rivers Baptist Church that I don't see, that I don't feel, that I can't possibly acknowledge right now, that you're doing things behind the scenes that I don't see. I said, but Lord, and, and I know the Bible says a foolish generation seeks after a sign and, and, and whatnot, and Lord, I don't mean to tempt you in any way, but Lord, would you do something tangible? Do something, do something that, that we can see. see. And, the and the Lord did something tangible. tangible. He, he did, did something that I could see. see. And, and in, in my prayer, prayer time, uh, uh, I was praying and I said, Dear Lord, you know, you know, thank, thank you for all that you've done. And it kind of clicked. It just, it just, it just the, Lord the Lord will speak to you. you. If you'll stop talking for a minute, minute you'll, 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 you can, the, Lord the Lord will speak to you too. And I don't mean some spooky voice coming out from the corner somewhere, but it's you'll understand the difference between what the Lord's saying and your own head. But the Holy Spirit reminded me he said, he said, Jake, remember when, when you said you, you, know, you knew I was working behind the scenes? I was like, yeah, Father, I remember. He said, remember you asked for something you know, tangible, something you, could, you knew that, just a token that you knew, some, some, something to take confidence from? I said, yes, Lord. I said, it keeps my faith going. You know, it keeps me, as long as there's light at the end of the tunnel, I, can, I keep walking towards it. I said, but when it's all blackness, I got to... It, it's, it's despair. despair. I, said, I said, so that, so that was light, light at the end of the tunnel. He said, so I gave you some light at the end of the tunnel. I said, yes, sir. He, he said, said, okay. Are you ever going to thank me for it? I said, I said well, well, I did. You know, you know when, when we got, got it, I thank you. He said, no, you, you asked, asked me in prayer. prayer. Why don't you thank me in prayer? Instead, Instead of just being like, oh, thank you, Lord, for the answer to prayer. If I asked for it in prayer, which, by the way, prayer is a Special time, a solemn time where you talk to the Lord one-on-one. -on -one. 
So, so here, here I am, and, and we received a, a, a blessing, and, and oh, how wonderful it was. And man, I rejoiced and thanked the Lord, and I shared it with others. This is great. Praise the Lord. You know, he, and he, that's great. And as I went into prayer, and I, and I tried to do um, uh, praise and thanksgiving, confession, supplication, which is um, uh, a prayer for the things that I need, asking, and then intercessory prayer is praying for others. Uh, I was in my praise, and the Lord said, don't you remember I did that? I said, yeah. He said, well, why don't you? We're here, We're here now. now. It's one-on-one. On one. Why, don't Why don't you thank me now? now? Thank, thank me with the same urgency that you asked for it. For it. Ah. So, that's so that's what I did. So he, so he says, says men ought always to pray and not to faint. faint. So, so I, can't I can't always spend 20, 20 30 minutes in prayer every single 24, 24 hours a day, 365. I can't do that. And you can't do that either. Well, what's that mean? It means I'm driving down the road. I can ask for safety. It means that I'm I'm getting ready to go into a meeting. I can ask for wisdom. Uh, it means I can continually stay in prayer. And I guess each one of us has had this experience. We've prayed for something to happen. We've prayed for the Lord to do something. We've Something that we've wanted so badly. Something we've wanted to see happen. Something we've wanted to experience. And after we prayed, we figured out exactly how God was going to do it for us. So here I am, I've prayed. Dear Lord, help me to get this going. Help me to do this. Help me to achieve this or help the church in this way. And then what I do is I map it out in my head. This, this is, is how, how the Lord's going to do it. <laughs> he, doesn't. he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. And then, and then God, God doesn't, doesn't do it that way. And we say, well, I guess, I guess God's, God's not going to answer that prayer. God's, God's not going to answer that prayer. Did you ever pray and then figure out exactly how God was going to do it? You give God the directions on how it should be answered. See, the lesson that I've learned, and I'm jumping a little ahead of myself here. The lesson that I've learned is just to ask for it. And then, and then believe, believe on it and leave, leave it alone. Ask, ask for it, it believe it, claim it, it thank, thank him for it, it leave it alone. Just, just leave, leave it alone. So many, so many times, times, I told, I told Brother, Brother Dan, Dan yesterday, I said, and Miss Sarah, about a certain, certain situation, situation maybe, maybe in the future. And I, and I said, said um, no, you know, I know it seems like talk. I know it seems like talk, but if God's led me to, I'm just usually, I mean, I get excited about good news. I like, I like sharing, sharing good news. I like being them say, hey, man, no, no I, don't I don't share secrets. Secrets, secrets. but good news, I can't help. I can't help it. I just, I, mean, I got to tell, tell somebody. somebody. Um, um, and, and then I, I say, say now you don't, don't tell, tell anybody. anybody. It's, it's a secret. secret. <laughs> Secret secrets, secrets are no fun. Uh, uh, but um, uh, uh, so, that's so that's what we do is we map it out, we try, out, we try to figure it out, and, and, and we try to get God to get, get to answer it the way that we've conjured it up in our mind. But the, but the thing, thing is, God, God has, a, has, a, has a much more um, miraculous way and a much, and a much more impactful way of, of doing, doing things uh, for us and answering our, our prayers. Now, now, what happens, happens was, what, what happens, happens is, 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 is uh, uh, we figure it out, and what we figured out was all past, and it didn't happen. We say, well, that does it. Yeah, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm not going to get it, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to move on. Uh, and, and I know all, all kinds of people in this room are like, like me when, when we've prayed, prayed that. that. Uh, I've, I've done it, and, and, and you've done it. Um, uh, uh, and, and if you haven't done, done that, you're lying to yourself because you know you have. You've, you've prayed. prayed. You've, you've said, said, oh, God, this, this is what I need. This is what I want. This is how. And you've tried to picture how it was going to happen in your mind, and it didn't happen. So you thought immediately, God's not going to answer it. But that's just not true. The Bible uh, it teaches, teaches us that God, God has promised us. God, God has, promised has promised us. He said, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth or accomplishes much. Now you say, ah, oh, but it says the effectual, fervent prayer. Effectual just means affectionate. Effectual, fervent means passionate or hot. A, 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 a serious prayer. Let's just boil it down to that. A real person who's serious about praying. The person who will pray... Uh, 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 the, the, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much, but you go, oh, that's it, check it out. The Bible says righteous, and I'm, I'm not righteous. Are you saved? Are you saved? If you're saved, then you're righteous. Because the, the blood has made you righteous. The shed blood of Jesus Christ made you righteous. Now, you say, I'm not righteous because there's things in my life that I'm stuck on and I can't stop doing, and that doesn't, no. Work, work, just, just like, like works, works don't, don't save you, you works, works don't, don't disqualify you. If, if you, you, you're righteous, you're, you're born, born again. God, God says the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous or a saved man 
or woman or child for that matter, a saved person, Christian, availeth or accomplishes much. A lot, a lot can, can be done, done through prayer. prayer. So, so much time in our churches, churches we, put in we put in sweat equity, we put in elbow grease, grease. We, put we put in thought and meetings and pen to paper, and we sit around the conference table and we talk and we talk and we talk and we talk. But if we and we put in so much effort, the Bible doesn't say a lot is accomplished by sweat, even though there is truth to that. It doesn't say that a lot is accomplished by meetings, even though there is some truth to that. That's an ingredient. Work is an ingredient. Speaking is an ingredient. Collaboration Collaboration is ingredient, but the, but the Bible, Bible says, says that by prayer, prayer the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man accomplishes much. Prayer. prayer. If, if we would, if we would pray half as much as we work, no, no telling what could happen. happen. And, and when we work, work fer- and when we uh, join fervent, effect, effectual fervent prayer with effectual fervent work, God does big things. God does big things. Now, now, it tells, it tells us in, 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 in uh, uh, Psalm 37.4, Delight, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall that give thee the desires of thine heart. heart. It, it says in Jeremiah 33, 33 call unto me, and I will answer thee, and, and show thee great and mighty things, which, which thou knowest not. not. It, it says that ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will. That's Matthew 21, 22. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Now, now, God, God has given, given us promises all throughout, throughout the Bible, Bible. All, all throughout the Bible. The Bible. I, have I have a book that, that uh, the Pohazis, Mr. and Mrs. Pohazi gave me, and, and it says all the promises of the Bible, of the Bible. good and good bad, good, good ones and bad. God says, if you will, then I will. If you do, then I will. Yeah, the Bible says, here's a promise. If you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. That's a promise. It's a promise. Many, Many people, people are sitting around waiting for God to come through on a promise, but they haven't claimed, they haven't done their part. You, you, God, God cannot, cannot follow through, through on a promise. promise. It's a two-part two deal. These, These promises, promises have two, two people involved, God, God and, 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 the and the Christian. And the Christian has a responsibility to do their part, to say, to say oh, okay, God, God, I came as far as I could, and God, God will make up the rest. God, God has given us promises all throughout the Bible. Here's one. Psalm 1.1, 1, 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But, but his, his delight, delight is, in is in the law of the Lord, of the Lord just like Psalm 37. And in his law that he delights in, doth he meditate day and night. And that doesn't mean crossing your legs and sitting in a, 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 a child's, uh, um, uh, you know, duck, duck, go type of posture. Or duck, duck, go. Duck, duck, goose. Uh, and going, hum. Delight, delight, hum. No, no it, doesn't it doesn't mean that. that. It doesn't mean sitting on a high mountain somewhere. It just means to meditate on. To, to think, think on. on. Here, Here you are, you, you have, have come, come to a problem, problem and, you and you go, go hmm, how do I, I fix it? Brother, Brother Scott, you're redoing Miss Carter, Carter. you're having Scott redo your kitchen. I'm sure there's a time or two where you went, that angle, that cut, measure twice, cut nine times. Measure measure, and cut, and you look at it and you're trying to come up with a solution to a problem. Whether it be engineering, or a, or a school, school teacher, teacher? Whether, whether it be, it be a, a construction, no matter, matter what it is, you say, hmm, how, how can I, what can, what can I, do I do about that? You're meditating on a problem. That's what that is, is thinking on that. And the Bible says, doth he meditate day and night? That means he's walking his life according to the word of God. So he says, you have a decision to make. I have a decision to make. So what do I compare? Where's my thinking, my reasoning come from? How do I make this decision according to the word of God? According, according to the word of God. Now, now I, believe I believe almost every decision, and I'm not talking about, you know, where you want to go for eat necessarily, or where you want to go to eat necessarily, or, uh, uh, you know, what, what uh, color tie you should wear necessarily, but all these decisions that you have to come across in life that really have a meaning and, and dictate where you go, what a career and school and who you should marry and uh, uh, where you should go to church, you know, God lead me to a church and, and um, uh, all these decisions that have some sort of impact on our life. What should we do? How should we raise our kids? How, what, you know, what kind of life do we want to live? It's compared to the Bible. So in his law doth he meditate day and night. All these decisions I want to I, I think about. 
And the Bible, and the Bible says, says um, uh, so, blessed so blessed is the man that does these things and meditates, and meditates in the word day and night, and, and it goes, goes on to make, here's, here's the promise, if this man, if this person will do this, this, this person shall be planted, planted like a tree by the rivers, rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So there, so there it is. What whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. prosper. Now, the, now Bible, the Bible, again, is full of God's promises, promises to us. us. The, Bible the Bible says, if we call, he will answer. If we, if we knock, it will be opened. If we seek, it, we will find. If we delight in him, he will give us the desires of our heart. And again, and again, and again, we're reminded throughout the Bible. So we say, Lord, I've done it time and time again. And I know many prayer warriors in here have. Lord, here's the way I want it. And and, 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 and and this is the way I want it to happen. And and, and this is how I plan it out. And I know man, I'm in church three times a week. Uh, well, two times a week if I make it back on Wednesdays from, from uh, uh, being on, uh, on the road. Um, uh, but I'm in church every chance I get. I tithe. I'm a soul winner. I read my Bible. I teach my kids the Bible. We try to make Jesus the center of my home. I, 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 I try not to swear. I say I don't, I don't, I don't swear. I'm supposed to. I don't, I don't swear. swear. I, don't I don't swear. swear. I, I try to keep clean thinking. I try to do the right things. I'm trying to do the right things. So when I pray, why shouldn't I have it the way that I want it? Here's the reason why. Because God will do it better. God will do it better. But lo and behold, what I prayed and how I thought it would all turn out didn't happen. So therefore, God must not answer prayer. <laughs> because, because it didn't happen the way I thought it should. It, it didn't happen. Lo and behold, behold it, didn't it didn't come through the way I thought. Now, now let's, let's come, come back. back. God, God is obligated. And, and I want you to hear that. God, God is obligated to answer, to answer your prayers. prayers. Did you know, Did you know that? that? You know, he's, he's obligated, obligated to do it if, if you hold up your end of the bargain. If you'll hold up your end of the bargain. Again, again, here's, here's that, scripture that scripture again. Delight, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Wait, wait man, I, my heart's full of desires. But the, but the Bible says delight in them. Delight, delight in the Lord, and he, and he shall, shall give thee the desires of thine heart. heart. But, but here it is. is. He's, He's not obligated to do it like we tell him to do it. God doesn't need directions. God doesn't need us to tell him how to do it, when to do it, where to do it. God, God doesn't, doesn't need directions. directions. He, doesn't he doesn't need to tell us how to do it. To do it. He, he can, can give us what we want, want but don't tell him how to do it. Don't, don't tell him how to do it. Do it. Um, you, know, you know, the chef, chef doesn't want you in the kitchen. You, you go, go to the restaurant, you sit down, you look at the menu and say, this is what I want. You don't go in the kitchen and tell him how to do it. That's his kitchen. Those, Those are, are his instruments, instruments of preparing. Of preparing. That's, That's his food. He will prepare it. If you didn't want it the way he prepared it, don't come to the restaurant. Folks, Folks, what we, we want, want is we want God, God but we want, we want God to basically, basically open the door for our will. God, God this, this is what I want done. done. And, God and God says, says look, don't, don't you recall, recall the scripture, scripture that says, no, you not, you are not your own. You've, you've been brought with a price, therefore glorify God in your members. You, you are, are a vessel unto, unto the Lord. Jeremiah says that he is the potter and we are the clay. Scripture teaches that he is the father and we're his children. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's um, sometimes, sometimes Lucas, Lucas and Houston and, and Lincoln, not so much, but uh, uh, Hudson, because he's still young enough, he doesn't know. Sometimes he'll try to tell you what to do. Even, Even as, as a parent, parent dad, give me this. Mom, give me this. What? what? Who are you talking to? No. no. Can't, can't have, have that. that. No, no, you can't do that. that. No, no, you're not going. And that's so silly for us to go up to God and tell God, God, give me this. It's one, it's one thing, thing to, to demand, demand something. something. It's, it's another thing to ask, to ask of something. To, to ask, to ask. To ask. Now, now, now the Bible says to go, to go boldly before, before the throne of grace. grace. To, go to go boldly, boldly, boldly with confidence, to go, to go up to your father and say, Heavenly Father, Father this, this is what I would like. This, this is what I want. This, this is what my heart desires. desires. I try to delight in you. And don't don't you don't ever have to tell God you're not perfect. He knows. You don't, you don't ever, ever have, have to tell God, God how short you come up of, of, of even being qualified to get your prayers answered. God, God did not say be qualified. 
He gave us a couple of conditions. It said, ask and seek and knock. Ask and seek and knock. That's what I want you to do. That's, That's what, what I, I want you to do. I want you to seek after me. I want you to knock on every door trying to find me. I want you to look for me. God says, I want you, and I, you'll find me. You'll find me, and I want you to give you, I want to give you the things of your heart. The Bible says that God gave us his son, which was the best thing that he could give. Then it goes on to say, why would he, basically, why would he withhold any other good thing? Again, Again, Jesus, Jesus gave, gave parables, parables to people, people that were listening, listening the disciples and, and religious leaders, and of course, uh, many sinners and many lost people who came to Christ. And he, and he, and he, and he taught, he said, uh, 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 if, your if your son, son come, come and ask of you a fish, will you give him a serpent? If he, if he asks, asks for bread, bread, will you give him a stone? If, if you, you being, and he's saying being evil, evil not you know, sinister evil, evil, but being evil people, sinners, sinners wicked, wicked, lost, love, love your, your children and want to give your, your children good things, how much, how much more does your heavenly father, father want to give you good things? Many, Many of us are living in spiritual poverty and we don't have to. And, and spiritual poverty, spiritual, po po uh, uh, excuse me, spiritual poverty, many times, times leads to um, a, spiritual a spiritual condition where we think God doesn't answer prayers or he does, but he won't do it for me. So I'm not going to ask him for anything. And then what happens is we become, we hit financial struggles. We hit all these other struggles in our life that God has a solution for. You see, spiritual health and spiritual wealth is, is, um, Incredibly, incredibly important to so many other factors in our life. It, it fans out into every area of our life. life. If, if we pray, well, man, well, man I, I, didn't I didn't read my Bible, Bible through last year. year. All right, All right we'll pray. pray. I've, said I've said it so, so many times. times. Governments, Governments have taken Bibles from, 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 from uh, their, their, civil, uh, their, their civilians throughout, throughout the ages and had all kinds of, the Nazis, Nazis were famous for book burnings and, 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 and getting rid of literature and, and, and get rid of the written word. But do you know what they can't take away from you? They cannot, they cannot take, take away, away prayer, prayer from you. Oh, they've, oh, they've taken, taken it out of the schools. schools. But, here's but here's the thing, thing. I, 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 I don't want to chase, chase after this rabbit, rabbit right now. They can, they can take, take it out of the school, school but they can't, can't take prayer out of the kid who goes to the school. They might, they might be, be able to say, hey, you can't do that in public, but they can't. Who says? You don't own the public. He owns the public. He owns it all. They may be able to kick prayer and kick the Bible out of things, but they can't kick it out of you. They can't, they can't kick, kick it out of you, but, the, but the, why, why do they need to kick it out when we don't even do it in the first place? When, when, we, when, when we, we have, have kicked it out, when, when we, we have, have replaced prayer, prayer that, that Christians, that man ought always to pray and not, not to faint. Grandparents, grandparents pray, for pray for them grandbabies and your kids all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. They're the next generation. Pray, pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. Pray. You, you have, have no idea what your, your prayers are doing for them. For them. God, God is working behind the scenes, and one day your faith, faith will be sight. Pray, pray for them. Pray, pray for them. Now, now God, God, like I said, I made that statement, God, God is obligated, obligated to answer, answer your prayers. prayers. He's, he's obligated, obligated to do it. it. But he's not obligated to do it the way that we tell him to do it. He can give us what we want, but don't tell him how to do it. So I think that... I've learned, I've learned to ask, to ask for financial blessings, blessings for the church or for the family and, and, and uh, health, health blessings for the family and, and ask, ask for it if you want to for your end also. Your Dear God, provide. Your God, Dear God, send it. Your God, Dear God, give it. it. Dear God, lend it. Do, 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 do what, what you want, want. But what we do is we delegate it. Hey, dear, hey, dear God, God, I know of such and such a family. They have money. Why don't you lay it on their heart to give X amount of money? No. I'm not delegating anybody in prayer unless they need prayer. I'm not, I'm not delegating, delegating for God to use somebody to do, to do something for me or for the, for the church. church. I'll, go I'll go to God, God and say, dear God, here's my need. And let God look down and see who he can use to fill the need. That's, That's the way it works. Uh, so, I've so I've gotten, gotten to the place in my, in my, in my prayer, prayer life, life and, and this is as of late. Uh, and I don't mean like yesterday, but in the last uh, several months where I've come to the place of prayer where I just say, Lord, we need it. Lord, would you provide it? Lord, will you give it? And then I don't tell him how to do it. I feel like sometimes you ever heard of the word jinx? You jinx yourself, you know? Like Caden, we're sitting up in... Caden, are you awake back there? Uh-huh. We're sitting up in choir. 
Last, last Sunday, Sunday, and he, he said, this is going to be a great, great year, year, fantastic, fantastic year. year. This, I, was I was like, whoa, he's got a great spirit. He said, no, no I was jinxing us. us. I said, come on, man, don't be doing that. Um, uh, uh, but uh, uh, you hear jinx. So what, so what I've done before is, is I've prayed, prayed something, something, and I've shared with somebody what I was praying. Or I've, or I've shared, shared with somebody a dream, a hope, a vision, you know, and I'm like, I probably shouldn't talk about it because now the Lord's not going to do it. I don't. That I've studied the scriptures. It doesn't work that way. God, God doesn't, doesn't say, hey, hey if there's, there's something, something you've been, been praying for, for don't, don't tell anybody, anybody about, about it because I'm not going to do it then. It doesn't, it doesn't say, say don't, 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 it, it, it says, says share your, your faults with one another, but also share our hopes and our dreams. Speak, speak life to one another. another. It's, it's good, good to keep people's hopes up, to keep people, I listened to something, a podcast, you can't listen to all of them because some of them aren't worth listening to. Uh, but, uh, but against the odds, odds. it's called against the odds, odds. stories of survival story. story. And I listened to a story about these people um, on K2, which is the second tallest mountain in all the world. K2, the letter K and the number two, K2. Um, and uh, they had Sherpas taking up the mountain and everything. And it was the, it was the, um, the history of the mountains, worst tragedy that ever happened. 11 people died and people falling off of cliffs and just terrible communication. And, uh, but what happened was, is they got, people got separated and everything. And the experienced mountain climbers, they, they had, had to, to keep, keep people's, people's hopes up. up. You, can't you can't walk, walk around, around with despair. despair. You, can't you can't say, oh, no, this is the end. This is it. This is the end. This is. Uh, uh, I listened to another one um, called um, Shipwrecked in the Sahara, which is kind of, it doesn't make any sense. But if you read the book, it's about a man named James Riley. James Riley, who was the captain of a merchant ship called the Commerce. It was shipwrecked. And, and long, long story short, short uh, they, they were, were uh, Northern Africa, Africa um, and they were taken, taken into slavery. slavery. Um, uh, uh, these folks were from um, uh, the, the, the New England area. area. One, the, the captain, captain was from Connecticut. Connecticut. Taken into slavery for two years and a harrowing story. story. But, but the captain didn't despair. despair. If he did, he did it inwardly. But he, but he kept, kept the hopes up of people. And that's, and that's what, what sharing, sharing your prayers, prayers are with people. Sharing, sharing hey, hopes and, dreams, hopes and dreams and visions and, and, and saying, man, man, I think about this and I hope this, whether it's for your family, for your, family, for your marriage, for your, for your church, church, for yourself. Uh, I, I, I got up this morning, uh, 510. I got up, I went up to the office and uh, to the study and I read and I prayed and, and um, uh, I had some time. Um, I'm like, all right, well, I got some time. I'm going to lift some weights. I asked God for power. He gave me power. I lift three pounds. Three pounds, two, two pounds. Why am I going Joe Biden here? Two pounds, two, pounds. Uh, uh, two, uh, two three pounds. pounds. And um, uh, so I lifted some weights and whatnot, and I felt, felt great, you know. You know? And um, uh, 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 I went downstairs and I said, yeah. yeah. Jamie said, oh, please. And, uh, and uh, uh, I asked God, God for power. I asked God, hey, I, I want help. God, God, give me health. God, keep me healthy. You know, I'm not looking necessarily uh, to be like a, um, you know, Never, never want to be what, what those guys, guys do to their bodies. That's just weird, weird and odd, and it shouldn't. They inject, inject themselves with all kinds of stuff. They eat like 20,000 20, calories a day. a day. It's insane. Uh, uh, but like, like a bodybuilder body or something, I just want functional functionability. functionality. I just want to be able to live a, a life, um, and, and I got five boys, and live a quality life with them, and, and um, uh, just uh, uh, play football and different things with them and basketball. But uh, I'm, I, here I am going to God and saying, Dear God, these are the, de the, these are the desires of my heart. This is what I want. This is how I want it. I've carved that out of my prayer. I've stopped telling God how I want it done. Because, not because I think it's jinxing me, but because it's not biblical. It's not, it's not biblical, biblical to tell God, God how, how it, it should, should be done. done. Now, sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes, sometimes you get excited about a potential answer to prayer. And you say, oh, and you factor in all these people and all the ways that it could happen. Carve that out. And if those do come into your mind, just don't dwell on them. It's not sinful. It's not wrong. And it's not jinxing you. But just don't dwell on it and then say, God, I hope you do it this way. God, God will, will do, do it his way. way. God, God will, will do it his way. way. Now, the very first thing, thing uh, I, I want to say, say you say, the very, very first thing? Uh, that, uh, that was all introduction. introduction. Very, very quick, quick, two, two points. points. The first, first thing, thing I want to tell you this morning is, is when, when you want something, something ask for it. it. First Peter 5, 7 says, casting all your care upon him because he cares for you. If you want something, ask for it. If you want something, ask for it. If you want something, ask for it. Now you, now you say, say like, like a, like a McLaren, McLaren F1? F1? No, no probably, probably not, because, because God knows you're not going to, you, you can't, can't pay for it. it. You, you can't, can't even drive it yet. 
we're looking, we're looking at, at houses in Houston. We were, we're just kind of scrolling, scrolling and just goofing and looking and around, around. And we came across this house as 1.6 million or something. And he said, oh, can we look at it? I said, no. He said, I would cry if we got a house like that. I said, me too. He said, I'd cry because I'd be so happy. I said, I'd cry because of the bills. I don't, I don't want a house like that. I don't need one, don't want one. He's building the mansion for me in glory, at least I hope. Um, but um, uh, 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 so the Lord, is, he'll give us what we need, but asking the Lord for um, crazy outlandish things, it's not, he's not a genie in a bottle, but God wants you to have a happy marriage. God wants you to, to uh, uh, see people saved. saved. God, God wants you to have good finances. And by, and by the way, that, that, don't, don't get scared, scared my, my, my class. That's not prosperity, prosperity preaching. God, God wants you to have, have the Bible said it right there. And, and whatsoever, whatsoever he do is shall prosper. Now, now did, did the Bible say it or not? Did it, did it say it? It did say it. Which, which the, the Holy Spirit inspired it, so God, God said it. And, and whatsoever he do it shall prosper. But there's so much more before the prosper. Walking, walking right, right doing, doing right, right, delighting thyself in God's word, word you will prosper. prosper. And by the way, just because you're in a valley of what seems like failure doesn't mean prosperity is not on the other side. If you're, if you're adhering to God's word and you're doing what's right, God's promises always come through, always, always. Jesus said, I will, and it never, it, it never, uh, he, and he never backed off of that. It's, it's always, always come, come through. through. God has always come through. So ask God what you want, but don't tell him how to do it. Don't, don't tell them how to do it. it. So ask for it. Number, Number one, ask for it. it. And, by and by the way, when the Bible says ask and seek and knock, uh, um, in the Greek, it's a, got a repetitive to it. It's like a linear, uh, um, a linear tense, which means seek and seek and seek and seek. And knock and knock and knock and knock. And ask and ask and ask and ask and ask. And you know, and I know, we would not have enough time to go through all the Bible stories today. And, 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 and hear them. And, and, and we've been, been over them in our Sunday school classes. classes. And, and then, the, what is this? This, this May, May will be 29 years. This, this coming May, 29 years. We've heard, we've heard these stories. stories. We've, we've heard, heard them, and we've heard them over and over again. again. But, but remember, remember when Jacob wrestled with that angel? He wrestled, he wrestled with, with God, God all night, the Bible says. says. And he says, the angel says, I've got to get back to heaven. I've got to go. I can't stay here. And Jacob said, no, you're not leaving. Imagine wrestling. With an, with an angel, angel of God, God and, and that angel's like, like yo, and I mean a physical, physical wrestle match. match. Physically wrestling. Now, now how, how bad, bad of a dude you got to be to wrestle, wrestle, wrestle with, an with an angel. But here, but here he is, is wrestling, wrestling with an angel, and, and the angel's like, yo, I, I, I got to go. <laughs> I, I, I got I to go. It's daylight, you know, I can't be out in daylight. Or he's like, I got to go, you know. And Jacob was like, nope, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. I'm not, I'm not letting, letting you go until, until you give me what I'm asking for. for. The, Bible the Bible says that Jacob wrestled with God and prevailed, and, and the angel blessed him because, the, because, because Jacob prevailed with God. God. Don't, Don't you remember? remember? That, that same, uh, excuse me, that, that same, same chapter of Luke 18, 18 it starts off with men are always to pray and not to faint. And then, and then it talks about an unjust judge. judge. An unjust, An unjust judge, judge and the widow, widow that hounded him and called after him and would not leave him alone and called and called and called and called and called. And called, and called, and called. She, was she was worse than a debt collector. collector. Called, and called and called and called and called and called. And, and he said, no, no, don't bother me. Leave, leave me alone. But she says, you have to. You're, You're the judge. judge. You, you have, have a job to do. do. You, you have got, got to figure, figure this out for me. You have to help me. Leave me alone, he said. And she said, I'm not I'm not leaving you alone. Just let's get that settled. You can, you can tell, tell me, me to leave me leave, leave, leave you alone all you want, all you want but, but I'm not going to. She started, she started singing. I shall not, I shall not be moved. No, she, no, she didn't. didn't. Uh, but, uh, but if she knew the song, she would have sang it. But she, she kept, kept saying, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving until you give me what I need. And the Bible says that old, that old, that old unjust, wicked judge. He says, look, I'll give you what you want. If you leave me alone, I'll give it to you. If you'll, if you'll finally, finally go away, away I'll, give I'll give you what, what you, will you make, make a promise with me. You, you won't, won't come back. back. She said, I won't come back. You won't, you won't knock, knock on my door. door? No. no. If, if I, I give, give you what you want, want you'll leave me alone. She, she said, said, yes. He said, he said okay, okay. I'll, give I'll give you what you want. You ever, you ever go, go to the store, store grandparents and parents and your kids like, can I have, 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 can I have? And you just don't have it in you to say no? You're like, we were just here two days ago. And you said, can I have, can I have, can I have, can I have? What, what I, I do is I compromise. Because I, I like giving, giving gifts, gifts to my kids. kids. I, like I like it. it. Jimmy used to get mad at me. She's like, you're always coming home with something. I'm like, well, I want them to love me more than you. Uh, uh, but, but I, I um... <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. 
she's, and she's like, like yeah, yeah, I know that's true. true. Uh, uh, but I, I like I like that stuff. And I told my dad, I said, I buy all the toys and stuff for my kids that I didn't get when I was a kid. You know, that's what I do for my kids because I love my kids. But uh Let's move, move along. along. Let's move along. But, but uh, uh, can, can I have? Can I have, can I have the, ins the just the pestering, pestering insistent asking, asking of a child? Do you know, do you know God, God says, says that we're supposed to have faith in Him like children, like children do? One of the, the biggest, biggest, biggest uh, uh, or, or one, one of the saddest, saddest things, things that happen to us is that we grow up, up and we grow up. We lose our we lose our childlike faith and understanding, especially toward God. We become, we become so, so smart. smart. We, become we become so, so theological, theological and so biblical and so legalistic and so um, uh, apologetic and so uh, hermeneutic and so all these things in the Bible. And we have all these things that we think that we know about God. But God's like, all I require of you is childlike faith. Read that book and believe it and obey it. That's all I want from you. Read it, believe it, obey it. Live, live by it. Let, Let it be, be the template, template to which you match, match up your life. Here's the Bible. Do, do I, I match up? up? If you're off, adjust. If you're off, adjust. adjust. Let, Let the, the Bible. Bible. The Bible says that thy word, the Bible, the Bible is, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. path. It shows us the way. It shows us the way. But that, but that, old, that, that old just unjust, unjust judge, he said, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. What's this parable teaching? What's that? What am I supposed to get that? It's, it's we're supposed, we're supposed to, keep to keep on asking, asking and keep on seeking and keep on knocking and keep on begging God. God. That's, That's what that means. means. The same thing is taught in Luke 11. A man, a man who had a friend who came to him at midnight. midnight. You, guys you guys remember this story? This man sleeping, sleeping in bed. And this guy came, came and he said, Hey, hey, Jim. Jim. Oh, oh, hey, there's Jim back there. I just called out a name. Jim, I need some bread. I had a traveler come to my house, a friend. He's on a journey and I need to be able to feed him. And Jim's like, yo, can't. In bed, house is locked down. You don't bother us at night. And he said, Hey, hey, man, do you, do you remember, remember that widow, widow? In, Luke, in Luke 18? I, mean, I know this is from Luke 11. But he said, hey, you remember, um, oh, let's see, who can we pick? Uh, you, uh, you remember Miss Pip? Pip? Who wouldn't, who wouldn't leave that old judge alone? alone? Oh, oh, man, not the story of Miss Pip. Pip. That, that lady didn't, didn't leave that judge alone forever. forever. I'm staying here. Come here, Miss Pip, we're singing. I shall not, I shall not. I'm staying, give me the bread I need. He said, I can't. My whole house is asleep. And back, and back then, they didn't have three-bedroom houses and four-bedroom and some, some sort of palace. They slept in one big, giant bed. Mom and dad over there and the kids spring and, you know, grandpa's over there. Big old, big old bed in the house. So this is the bedroom. This is the bed. This is where everybody sleeps. You're going to wake up my family. Well, give me the bread and I won't wake them up. So he's like, all right. He gives them the bread. What happened? The guy left. Now, I want you to understand you're, you're not, not annoying, annoying God, God like, like the man that needed bread was annoying his neighbor. And, and you're not, not annoying God, God like, like the widow who begged, who begged after, after the unjust judge was annoying him. him. God, God wants you to do it. The, the lessons, lessons behind, behind these parables are persistence. God, God wants you to be persistent in your requests. That's, That's what this is. God's God saying, be persistent. Be, be persistent. persistent. See, See, God gets bugged and bothered. Or not, or, uh, uh, man, man gets, gets bugged, bugged and bothered at, at mankind's, can I, can I, can I, will you, will you? So I don't ever want a pickup truck again. Will you help me move? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's not, not mine. mine. It's my, yeah, that truck's, you know, that's my dad's truck. You know, can you ask him if you can use it? It's got a flat tire. I've got a spare. Oh, it's got a, nod, rod, a rod knocking. You know, just. No, no, I'm going to get a little compact. compact. I'm going to get a bicycle. Can't help anybody move. Uh, uh, but um, God, you're, not you're not annoying God. God. You, don't you don't annoy God, God like, like mankind, mankind annoys each, each other. God, that's, God, that's not, not it at all. all. No, that's, no, that's the, the way God, God wants you to be. That's, be. that's, that's what God wants you to do. You so I ask, ask you this morning, morning is there something you want? Is there, is there something, something you want? Is there something that you need? Is there something that you think would please God if you had it? I tell, I tell you this this morning, morning. keep on knocking, keep on seeking, keep on, seeking, keep on asking, asking, keep on praying. Just, just keep praying, praying until, until the light breaks through. through. I'm, I'm telling, telling you this morning, morning God will answer. answer. He will answer you. you. When, the, when devil the devil comes along and tells you you don't deserve it, tell him to kick rocks and beat it. Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. When, when doubt, doubt comes along, along when fear comes along, when lies come along, those aren't, those don't attach themselves to Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. 
The Bible says think on these things. If you want to have confidence in the promises of God, then think on these things. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. Paul said, I am persuaded. I am persuaded on who I believed. I'm persuaded in whom I believed. And, and I, I am, am not, there's nothing that can move me. And then uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 30, uh, 38 and 39, nothing, nothing, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. God. Many, Many people don't feel the love of God today because they've allowed themselves to be separated. Not because they have been, but because they've allowed themselves to be. There's, there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God, even if you don't feel his love. God still loves you. God still loves you, and he wants to give you Good, good things. things. That's, That's what God, God wants, wants to do. So number one today, today ask, 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 ask. ask. And, then and then number two, two don't, don't despair. despair. Don't despair. Don't despair. Don't, don't despair. despair. I think I of a, a, a preacher, preacher. Um, great, great preacher. preacher. He, went he went to God, God one day and he drove out to the country to get to nature and talk to God. It was sort of a drizzly, misty type of day and he went, he went to God, God and, and he asked him, he said, Dear God, I want a worldwide ministry. He said, The gospel, the gospel is that important. important. It's, it's, it's that, that, it's that serious. serious. Lord, you've, you've given, given me a, a somewhat of a good platform. platform. Make, Make it larger. larger. God, give me a, a platform. platform. I want to see hundreds of thousands. I want to see millions of people come to Christ. I want to be able to help preachers and, and send out missionaries. So what he did is he went into prayer and he begged God to give him a worldwide ministry. And he kept on praying and he kept on praying and he kept on praying. Can I tell you what happened? You want to know, know what happened? happened? Don't, don't, don't shout it out. Because some, some of you were sitting there like, he got, he got a worldwide, worldwide ministry? ministry? Yes, yes, but not, not before, before he contracted, contracted or, or uh, yeah, yeah, got, got tuberculosis. Tuberculosis? tuberculosis? What? No, 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 no that's, that's not, not a big thing. Well, this is an old time preacher. Now, what, now, what happened, happened is this preacher got tuberculosis and he became became enthralled in despair. And not only despair, but embittered. He got, he got bitter, bitter about it. He said, he said Dear God, God, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed for years for you to give me a worldwide ministry. The doctor, the doctor said he probably wouldn't even live very long. long. For three and a half years, he was laid up doing nothing. Couldn't, couldn't do anything. He's probably thinking, this is it. My life is over. I'll never do anything for the Lord again. I can, what, what good am I for the Lord? What use am I for God? What am I going to do in my life? I'm laid up. I had surgery after surgery, removing lungs, removing ribs. He, he waited. Uh, 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 he, he wasted, wasted away, away, lost all, all kinds, kinds of weight, weight almost down, down to nothing. nothing. And one, and one, died, one, one day, while he's sad, sad he's, he's in despair. despair. He didn't. He didn't by the way, he didn't stop talking to God, God either. He took, he took his, his bitterness and he took his despair to the Lord. Lord. If you're going to get bitter, take it to God. If you're going to get sad and depressed, take it to God. There's the best place to take it. So one day, while he's down in the dumps, he got out a pen and he. Got out, got out some paper and he began to write. And he, and he wrote, wrote and he wrote and he wrote. And, he wrote. and someone, a friend of his, came to his room and uh, read. He's laid up, you know, and is laying there on the end table. And, and he came over and, and the man picked it up as they were talking, maybe brought him some, you know, I don't know, balloons or flowers or something, something to cheer him up. He said, man, that's beautiful, man. That's really good writing. You ought to write some more. So what he did is he wrote some more. And he wrote some more and he wrote some more. And then what had happened is he wrote a book. He wrote, he wrote a book. book. Somebody said, man, that's not half bad. You ought to get that published. And he said, well, I never, I'm not a writer. I can't write. And they said, you just wrote a book. You can write. Yeah, well, I'm not that much a writer. Well, you should, and you can, is what his friend told him. You get that book published. So he got the book published. And what happened was that book went around the world. He had other books published, and they went around the world. And one book sold for over 200,000 copies. And that preacher became a renowned a, a, renowned a renowned great Christian writer, writer. and people, people around, around the world were blessed by that guy. guy. And, and the thing is, is what he said, he said, Lord, give me a worldwide ministry. ministry. But, but what, what happened, happened was, is he had in his mind a pre-planned direction, direction of how that was going to happen. God, God said, no, no, I'm going to use you to write it and put it into written word. And that's going to go around the world more times than your sermon ever could. And this, and this is this is, this is um, a pre-internet and pre-streaming uh, and pre-email and all those things. What, what he, he prayed, prayed was, is Lord, make me a blessing to the whole world. world. And, the and the Lord answered it his, his way. way. Many, Many people, people we, we don't we don't, don't want to say, Lord, Lord make me a blessing. blessing. I, don't I don't care how you do it. I have, I have to tell you, and I need to stop. 
I, I, I need to stop. I told the Lord, Lord, I want power, I want wisdom, I want understanding. But Lord, could you hold on on how you give it to me first? I said, because Lord, I, you need to try me and see if, if I can handle whatever, however you give it to me. You know, it may take, it may take blindness. It may take an amputation. It may take, and it may not take those at all. You see, you see that's, that's the, the people, people are scared. scared. But, but if, if God goes, goes out before you, you there's nothing to worry about. about. They, say they say that God can give, give a, a, they don't, they don't, God, doesn't God doesn't give burdens that we can't, we can't carry. carry. And, many and many people say, well, then why did he give me this burden? Because I don't feel like I can carry it. Yes, yes you can. can. Yes, you can. Because here's the thing. You don't have to carry it by yourself. The thing, the thing about, about God giving us burdens is that we, you know, that are too much for us to bear. Well, there's two others that are supposed to help bear that burden. The Bible says, bear ye one another's burdens. If you have a burden and I have a burden, we're supposed to help each other carry it. But also, he helps us carry it. He helps us carry it. So following the will of God doesn't mean tuberculosis. It's not, it's not a guarantee, guarantee tuberculosis, guarantee, guarantee death, death of a loved one, guarantee amputation, guarantee blindness. It's, it's not, not like, like, hey, I'm going to follow God, but you got to, something, something bad's going to happen to you. That's, That's not, not the case at all. At all. It's, it's just that, that will you follow God, God even if something bad happens? Will you, will you have, have faith in God, God even if something bad happens? Will you, will you trust God and follow through and keep going even if something bad happens? I'll stop with this. Philip. He's a, he's a, a deacon. deacon. He's, he's preaching a great, great revival in Samaria. In Samaria. Big, big survival. Or a big revival in Samaria. In Samaria. And, then and then suddenly God, God let him to go down to the desert, desert in Gaza. And, and Philip's, Philip's like, man, I'm preaching a, a revival, revival here. here. Something, Something great's, great's happening. happening. And you're going to send me to the desert? desert? What is this all about? God, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing your will, and you're going to send me to the desert? I'm, I'm preaching uh, uh, the greatest, greatest revival, revival this place has ever seen. Hundreds and thousands of people being saved, and you want me to go down to the desert. What's that all about? The Lord, the Lord said, yes, Philip, go down, go down to, the desert. to the desert. And, and Philip said, okay, okay have it your way. way. By, By the way, that's the best way for always to be. Your way, way or the highway, let it be God's highway. Way. Way. Be God's highway. So, so Philip, Philip went down to the desert, desert. And, here's and here's this guy riding in a chariot. chariot. We, know we know him as the Ethiopian eunuch. He heard of the, and he was the head of the treasure of Queen Candace, queen of Ethiopia. And Philip said, hey, man, what are you reading up there? He said, I'm reading Isaiah, Isaiah 53. So Philip, so Philip said, do you, do you understand, understand what you're reading? And the, and the eunuch, eunuch said to him, nope. nope. How, can How can I understand, I understand it except somebody that knows what this is talking about guides me? How can, How can I, I know? know? So, so Philip, Philip told him, this is, this is, this is what, what it's about. about. This is, this this is Jesus. Jesus. He pre the Bible says he preached Jesus to him. And, and that eunuch got converted and it went back to Africa. And, and, I I and, and we know by Pastor Jackson's digging into the history that Ethiopia was directly, directly affected by that Ethiopian eunuch. So, so folks, don't, don't tell God how to do it. Just, just keep on praying until light breaks through. through. Just, just keep, keep on praying until, until he answers you. God, God keeps his promises. His word is true. His word is true, is true. Is true. Is true. Over, over and over and over again. So I ask you this morning, is there some river in your life you can't cross? Is there some mountain in your life you can't climb? Is there some obstacle in your way you don't know how to get around it? Is there something directly in your path right now that you don't know how to handle it? Well, well, look, look inside, inside and say, what are my desires? desires? First off, what are his desires? Secondly, do my desires match up with his desires? Because you cannot delight in the Lord if your desires aren't his desires. That, that just it doesn't work. It's oil and water. God, what do you delight in? All right, I want to delight in that. I want to delight in God's word. My desires, your desires, they align. All right, God, these are some of the things that are in my life right now. And Lord, you have to answer this for me. You, you have, have to answer it. God, God it's on you, you to answer it. God, God is obligated to answer your request. Your request. Number, number one, ask. Number, number two, two don't, don't despair. despair. Would, Would you bow your head and close your eyes, please? I want to ask, ask you this morning, morning. Is, there is, there despair about? Is, there is there something you're despairing about? Is there something that you, you, you just are, you, you have, have no idea what to do? do? Well, can well, I ask you, have you asked the Lord about it? Have you asked for help with it? Did you, Did you, what have, what have you, done you done to address, to address it? it? Ask, Ask the Lord. Lord. Ask and, and seek and knock. What have, what have you, done, you done about it? 
hey, if, hey, if you started, started off January, January with, with no, no prayer, prayer life, life start, start one today. today. Start, start one today. today. Come, Come up, up here, here before this dedicated, dedicated altar. altar. It's not, it's not just a platform, platform where the pulpit stands. stands. It's, it's an, an altar, altar where people come to pray, where they, where they come, come to pour out First Peter 5, 7, and, and Psalm 37, 4, and Luke 18, 1, and, and over and over in Luke 11, and over and over and over again in the Bible, where you say, this is my heart's desire. I'm tired. I'm weary. I don't have the answers. I'm telling you right now today from experience. I didn't just come here to fill an hour time for us to meet together. I'm telling you from experience, and I'm telling you from what I know from others' experiences, that God answers prayers, and he'll answer yours. What do you, what do you need today? Why don't you come up here and tell him about it? In just a moment, Miss Jennifer is going to begin to play. I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to stand to your feet. And those of you who need prayer, I want you to hit this altar. Miss Jennifer, would you play, please? I want you to stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Hit this altar. You got something on your heart that you have not prayed about. You have something on your heart and your mind that you have not prayed about. I guarantee you, hey, a family member needs prayer. They're on your heart. You haven't prayed for them. Hey, you've got financial problems in your life that you, you, there's nobody that can help. There's nobody that can do anything about it. Why don't you come up here and tell God about it today? You say, well, I'm embarrassed, I'm embarrassed to walk forward. Oh, I, why, be why be embarrassed? God's not embarrassed of you. That's why we're here. It's like going to a hospital and being embarrassed that you're sick. Be embarrassed that you need help. Oh, there's no shame in, in needing. Tell God about it. Number one, ask. Number two, don't despair when the answer is delayed. Tell them all about it. God wants to speak with you. Yes, God Almighty, the creator of it all, knows you, loves you, has a plan and a purpose for you. What are you going to do with your life? Just let it float, let it go, and decide to do something. Just decide to get in line with God's word and obey it. Love your mind, obey her, honor her. Live, live for God. God. Live, live for him. Watch, Watch him change your life into something you couldn't even imagine. Make, Make something, something out of you you never thought you'd be. You don't have it made. Not, not, not everything's going to turn out peachy because you're the preacher's kid. you got to have, have a prayer life for yourself. I, I pray for you, but I can't, I can't pray, pray for you. you. you got to. I can't, I can't answer your prayers. He can. Prayer. prayer. Real, Real prayer. prayer. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, you saw, saw the folks and you, and you heard their prayers. prayers. Uh, you, you saw, saw folks, folks up here, here um, from, from young, young kids to uh, adults and families. And Heavenly, and Heavenly Father, 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 you heard every single one of their prayers. You know their heart. You know their cares. Lord, Lord, I'd ask, ask that you would help us, us remind us of the things, things that are needed. needed. Ask. ask. Very, Very simple. simple. Ask, ask and keep on asking. asking. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, help us to, to pray, pray according to your will, will what, what we know you delight in, what, what you want, want, what you desire. And then, and then Lord, you give it. You, 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 you give, give it. it. The Bible teaches on just about everything that we could imagine. How, how to get, get it, it, how to obtain it, how to keep it, it what, what happens when we lose it. it. Lord, Lord, I'd ask that you'd help us to pray. pray. Oh, God, help us to pray. pray. We, we short-side ourselves, short-change ourselves when we don't pray and keep on praying. Lord, bless our afternoon. Help us to uh, enjoy the time that uh, we spend with our loved ones uh, because there's a time when they'll be gone and we won't be able to hug on them and hold their hand and laugh with them and talk with them. And Lord, I, I look forward to heaven, uh, but help us to enjoy our time together here in sweet fellowship.
We ask, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brother Kevin?